attributes of Parkinson's back a couple of years or anything like that? Have you? I'm not sure as to how much, but I know that they have um, been able to positively impact like strokes, respiratory diseases, diabetes, neurological disorders, um, and some birth defects. I'm not sure of the numbers and extents, but I know that they have had like positive encounters. So that's the kind of stuff that ultimately fuels this, is that you know, they, they find a positive or they see a result and then they think, oh, well, there's got to be more. I'm sure that there's been, there's been highly involved in cancer research as well. If you run across anything there. Can you repeat what you Just what, <laughs> what role that, that the stem cell research has had in, uh, in looking for cures for cancer or medications for cancer? Um, from what I've learned from doing the research is that um, they're trying, they've learned how to kind of manipulate the um, like cancer cells, mm -hmm. but they still haven't been able to like um, cure cancer, obviously. They've been right. able to manipulate the cells and cause, like, um, some of the, while stem cells can cause tumors, they can also, like, get rid of tumors and make them smaller and have been able to, like, provide this need to, like, decrease in size within um, cancer, especially mm -hmm. within uh, the brain. Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of research has been done with the tumor suppressor cells because mm -hmm. we all have those naturally in our bodies. Mm -hmm. um, and so when they get turned off, cells just start dividing kind of like rapidly and you can't stop them. Um, so the embryos that have those genes already in their cells, um, research has been done to figure out how to flip that switch to turn back on the tumor cells. Strictly embryonic on that one though? That you know, that you know. So I'm, I'm curious, did you all pick this topic like voluntarily? What was it about? the topic that seemed interesting to you? I think it was kind of my fault. <laughs> I was like, oh, stem cell research, that would be so cool and interesting. And I talked about it with Ms. Jasper and Mr. Wade a bit before. And so I was intrigued and I convinced everybody else that it was interesting. Okay. Yeah, I, so I was had a conniption. <laughs> okay. But right. also, like, I'm glad we did stem cell research just because I knew nothing about, like, it just wasn't something I was concerned mm -hmm. about because it doesn't affect me um, personally, and I'm glad to be like, Well, then, then let me ask you this, now that you've looked into it a little bit, mm -hmm. maybe not knowing it, and all of you, I mean, is this something where our government should be involved? You know, should our government have a say in whether or not we should be, you know, I, uh, regulating, uh, regulating any part of stem cell research? I link this with my beliefs in abortion, and I don't think it's a government issue. Um, I think stem cell research should be privately funded. Okay. Anybody else? I agree with her. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you would disagree with President Bush's decision then to put a ban on government funding of stem cell research. Now, that still allows private research to go on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I wouldn't necessarily agree with it because I don't think federal money should be going towards stem cell so you don't. Okay, so that, but that's a way that the government is in some way regulating it. Yeah. Um, I just, I don't really think the government should be like over control of it because I do think it's a moral issue um, with the embryos and I just think it's somebody's personal choice on whether they agree with it or not and with partaking in stem cell research. So I think it needs to be privately funded and privately run. Do you believe that the government should be involved in any kind of medical research? Not really. Uh, even funding it? Not really, no. Okay. Anybody else have a thought on that? It's tricky. <laughs> well, we, what about, you can even look at should our government regulate the healthcare industry or even pharmaceuticals? <coughs> like the FDA is going to determine whether you can do human trials. Um, it's going to it's going to look at what you've done to get to this point. Should we have that regulation in place? I would say yeah, because um, there are just some weird people like <laughs> in the world. Like there's just some really like messed up people that can do like extremely unethical um, and go by interesting means with like human bodies. Even like it, I just I just think there should be a little bit of a like what's going on in your basement kind of like okay. deal, yeah. All right. <laughs>
Any else, anyone else want to speak to that one? Oh, I'm sorry. Same, by the way. <laughs>